Mistake number five, and that's a advanced mistake. Now, this is extremely dangerous and you should never do it. How's it going, boys? In today's video, I'm gonna be going over the mistakes that you might be doing using the PeniMaster penis extender. So I'm reading all your comments. I'm seeing people having some sort of issues and that's mainly because you guys didn't take the time to actually read the manual so that you can know how to use the PeniMaster penis extender properly. So today I'm gonna mention all the mistakes that you might be doing while using the PeniMaster penis extender. I know those mistakes because I used to do them myself and I fixed them. And today I'm gonna even tell you how to fix those mistakes. So if you're into that, I'd really appreciate it if you leave this video a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't gotten the PeniMaster penis extender and you're interested in getting one, I'm gonna leave a link for that in the description of this video below. And let's begin with this video. So mistake number one, and if you do this mistake, it's gonna be very difficult for you to actually use the PeniMaster penis extender. The mistake number one is when you use the vacuum chamber or whatever you wanna call it, the cup that holds on the head of your penis and you vacuum it, you stretch your penis way too fast. What I mean by that is after you vacuum the head of your penis inside of this cup, you really should allow for at least a couple of minutes for your penis to expand inside so it will hold more securely in place. If you go and do it way too quickly and the head of your penis is still way too small, then the cup or the vacuum might actually slip. So take your time, put it on, have a cup of coffee or whatever, and then try to stretch your penis after leaving it on for a couple of minutes. And this way is gonna be securely held in place and it's not gonna slip. Mistake number two, and I see a lot of people are doing that and it's mostly because lack of patience. And that mistake is not taking breaks. So I personally take breaks every hour of using the Peony Master penis extender. The way I take breaks if I don't need to pee is I simply just disconnect the vacuum chamber from the belt or from the extender. I can leave it on if you don't wanna just keep removing it and putting it back on. So you can keep it on, but lower the stretch or actually remove the stretch for five to 10 minutes. Let your dick relax and then you can go for another hour. So I wouldn't go stretch my dick six to seven to eight hours straight without taking any breaks. And that is something that is also mentioned in the Pini Master thick manual that comes with it. So take breaks and be patient and this way you will do it safely and more effectively. Problem number three is stretching too long. So a lot of people think that you need to stretch between six to eight hours for you to get results from the Pini Master penis extender. However, I did gain an inch and I'm gonna leave before and after photos in the description of this video below. And I did that only by wearing the Pini Master between two to four hours max per day. And I say four hours, only a few days at a week, not every day I would wear it for four hours. Usually I'm just wearing it for two hours per day. And I managed to gain one inch from wearing it only this amount of time. So when it comes to stretching your dick, more is not better. In fact, if you stretch it way too much, you might actually damage your dick and cause damage and not improvement. So I would say the safe way to wearing it is four hours with breaks and you are going to get really good results if you wear it consistently for months. Mistake number four, and that is stretching too hard. People are sending me crazy photos of them applying five kilograms or 10 pounds of stretch on their dick. Now, this is extremely dangerous and you should never do it. In fact, the maximum safe amount of stretch you should be applying on your dick is 1,200 grams. I don't know how much is that in LBs or American units, but you can know that by using the device. So on the device of the Pini Master penis extender, there are bars visible at the base of the device. And the less bars there is, the more stretch you are applying on the head of your penis. Now, if you wanna stretch as much as possible, you would leave just one bar. So you cannot really stretch more than that and you shouldn't stretch more than that because that will mean that you are stretching way too much. And if you are using the belt, make sure that you are stretching in a comfortable way. If you are starting to feel discomfort or pain, that probably means that you are stretching way too much and you need to lower the stretch. 
Again, it comes back to patience. A lot of people don't wanna wait to see results, but changing your body actually takes time and you really have to be patient so you can see great results without damaging yourself. Mistake number five, and that's a advanced mistake. When you get the Pini Master Penis Extender, it comes with a vacuum chamber and it comes with something called sluices or something like that. So it's basically a couple of pieces of plastic that you can attach to the opening of the vacuum chamber. And what those parts will do is they will adjust the opening of the vacuum chamber for your dick size. So if you are on the thin size, you should probably adjust it accordingly and try different sizes of those sluices so you can actually hold your penis more securely in place. I'm gonna try and leave a video of how those parts work on the video here, but you should really try to adjust the vacuum chamber to fit the head of your penis before you start using the Penny Master Penis Extender. So if you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new, I'd really appreciate it if you leave it a thumbs up. Also, if you're into such things, feel free to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. And anyways, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye-bye.